Hey you guys, it's Bright tonight. We're here to talk about one of the worst videos that I have come across during my time on social media. I've seen a lot of things from family vloggers and mommy influencers, daddy influencers, family influencers, like I said, family vloggers. Um, and this is absolutely one of the most awful pieces of content that has ever been posted on social media. That is my opinion. But we're going to go over it, so if you're interested, please keep watching. Alright you guys, so this video came from a creator. Her name is Nika Diwa. N-I-K-A-D-I-W-A. -A. She has 2.8 million followers on TikTok and this video that she posted got so much backlash that she did end up deleting it. I don't believe that she learned from this video and I still think that it's worth a conversation. Some people have come to my channel and been like, oh, you're the content cop, you're the uh, just get mad about everything creator. I'm really not because there are a lot of things I come across on social media that I absolutely love, I adore, I respect. And um, at the same time, having a commentary channel, a lot of the things I'm giving commentary on, there's really no nice way to discuss these people because they are exploiting their children, scamming their fans, being absolutely, you know, problematic and toxic. Um, and that's just the name of the game. When you're doing commentary, you are most likely covering negative things that are happening on social media. But now, that's not what this video is about. I'm going to go ahead and play Nika's video, but I am going to obviously heavily censor the identity of this child because I could not even imagine. I try to put myself in the shoes of some of these kids sometimes thinking, hey, if I'm, you know, an adult current day and a video like this of me was going around social media, how would I feel about that? And I would be heartbroken and I would be um, devastated and I would bare minimum want my identity blurred out. And that's what, you know, I try to do. This area right here, this is um, your private, <coughs> private part. So, so only mama is allowed to change it. My uncle do it. No, no uncles change diaper. Can your dad do it? Your dad can do it, yeah. Can my mom do it? I can, yes. No no boys are allowed except daddy. If, if someone change your diaper, say, I have to ask. Oh, I have to ask? Yeah. It's my daddy. Okay, can I, may I change your diaper, please? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the video that she shared, the caption said, talking to my child about boundaries in private parts. While I understand why this conversation was taking place. This is a conversation that happens very, very often between parents or guardians and um, children. Why on earth is this being made content? Why on earth is this being published to TikTok and you're doing it while you're changing your child? What is wrong with you? Actually, what, like, what is wrong with you? I think, you know, I think that question a lot, but with this, I'm actually like taking a step back and really saying it out loud. What is wrong with you? I could not, um, you know, when I think of family vloggers and a lot of the things that they do, a lot of it is like tacky, weird, maybe necessarily doesn't belong online and they're obviously doing it for views, but this broke my soul for this child knowing that this is on social media and you know kudos to the creators that are calling this out but i have noticed that the videos that i saw personally didn't have the child's face blurred which i think is a problem that's just me personally um but yeah set boundaries for your kids don't ever post it on social media. 
boundaries are good. The oversharing aspect of what these vloggers are doing is absolutely disgusting. And they have people that are constantly continuing to support them. And that's why we have people running around like the LeBrant family, the Doherty Dozen, the Ace family until their recent, you know, quote, divorce. Um, you are handing platforms to people that don't care about their children. They don't care about you. They care about money, clicks, views, engagement, growth. That is what they care about. And they will put anything on the front lines to make sure that they are getting that, what I call dirty money paycheck. The thing that I will say, because I want this video to be short and very concise, because honestly, how many times do you have to say that this is appalling and disgusting? If you are a parent and you want to make educational content or content to say, hey, this is what I did. This is how I spoke to my child or children about boundaries and um, speaking up for themselves and all of those kinds of sensitive conversations that do and should happen. Why do you have to do it while your literal child is being changed and you prop up the camera? For me, I can think of a handful of different ways that this video could have been delivered. None of them include her child literally being on the changing table and having it posted to social media. And she, like I said, she did delete this video. However, it took her several days to delete the video. And just the fact that it was filmed, edited, you know, had this little caption on it, and stayed up for numerous days tells me that she only deleted it because she was being called out. So this um, mommy vlogger, family vlogger, whatever you want to call her, um, add her to the book of those who exploit their children, overshare, and post their children nude on the internet for them to spread a uh, sp spread a PSA that nobody asked for. Nobody needs your PSA, but if you are going to put it out, leave your kids out of it. It's disgusting and weird. But nevertheless, those are my thoughts on one of the worst videos that I've ever consumed during my time on social media. But nevertheless, that's it for tonight. So if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.